At Central Bible Institute, Paul became even more involved in radio. We had fun. It was 50 whole watts of power and we had hooked it to the water tower of the campus. We, we got the national anthem and we, you know, we did it just like NBC with all the fanfare and all of the pomp and circumstance. And we signed her on with the national anthem. This is KCBI, Springfield, Missouri. And then my first words were, hello world. <laughs> Following graduation, Paul had hoped to become a missionary to Egypt, but that door closed and he had to settle for a job with the Foreign Missions Department in the film library. Life was uneventful until a visit the next summer to family in Rapid City, South Dakota. At the old campgrounds in Rapid City, Jan and I met for the first time. Papa Bethany was the preacher and we struck up a little friendship and the next year we did a bit of courting and the next year we got married. Following their wedding, Paul and Jan returned to Springfield. However, before too long, God would lead them back to Rapid City. Jan and I really got our television boot camp training, I guess you'd call it here in Rapid City. I did a honest to goodness six o'clock newscast on Channel 7, KRSD TV at the time, and many other things that we learned as the Lord put us through our schooling. So our roots really do go back to Rapid City for our love and relationship and then the TV ministry that the Lord has called us to. After a brief stop in Muskegon, Michigan, the Crouch family, now four persons strong, headed west to California. The radio and television pioneering continued in Burbank, Corona, and Glendale, California. But finally in 1973, God was leading Paul and Jan into their own ministry.